Hi, and welcome to another first grade flip classroom video. Today, we are going to be talking about related facts. We are also going to take those related facts and turn them into a fact family. Let's take a look at the cubes on the screen. You'll see that I have six purple cubes and three yellow cubes. This week, we've been working on something very similar, and we've been writing addition sentences to represent those cubes. So the addition sentence for these cubes would be six purple cubes plus three yellow cubes equals nine cubes total. That's one addition sentence I could use for these cubes. If I took those same cubes and flipped them around, I could make another fact, what we in first grade sometimes call a flip fact, where I take the numbers and I flip them around. If you look down here at the bottom, I can make a flip fact by putting the three first for the three yellow cubes, then the six for the six purple cubes, and my answer would still be nine because I still have nine total cubes. Both of those sentences are addition sentences that I could use to represent those cubes. Now let's move on to subtraction. If I use the same set of cubes to make a subtraction fact, I would start with my 9 first, because that's my biggest number. If I took away 3 cubes, I would write minus 3, and I would have 6 cubes remaining to represent my 6 purple cubes that are still there. Now let's see if we can use those same cubes to come up with another subtraction fact. So we already took away three, so this time I'm going to take away the six purple cubes. So my subtraction sentence would start with the nine, because that's how many total cubes I have, and it's also my biggest number. I would subtract the six, because those are the purple cubes I'm taking away, and my answer would be the three, because that's how many yellow cubes I have left. These would be the two subtraction sentences that represent that set of cubes. Now let's take a look at the four facts that we wrote about that set of cubes. You see that there's two addition facts and two subtraction facts that we can write using that set of cubes. These three numbers are used in each fact. This makes up what we call a fact family. A fact family is a family of facts where there are two addition sentences and two subtraction sentences, all using the very same numbers. We can use this as a strategy to help us solve addition and subtraction sentences that use those numbers. The way I remember fact families is the numbers stick together just like the people in your family stick together. 9, 3, and 6 were the numbers we used in this flipped classroom video to help us learn about fact families. If you'd like to watch this video again, you may. If not, we're going to talk more about fact families tomorrow. See you then. Bye.